We shot two torpedoes, dropped two markers, and it was very good. Hardik Gadara and his team are from the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, in Mumbai. This year has been so far the best year for us. There are 37 teams representing schools from all over the world trying to get their submersible drones to navigate an underwater course in a massive oblong pool that's nearly 40 feet deep. Daryl Davidson from the Association of Unmanned Vehicle Systems says it's a big challenge to build a robot that works on land, but it's even harder to build one that'll work underwater. Is your phone works perfectly well in your hand, but if you went swimming with it without a case on it, it wouldn't work so well. Uh, water and electronics and computers don't mix. While some teams clearly have a lot of money to spend on their robots, Jason Ploho from the San Diego City College team says money isn't everything. If you have your mindset to it, you, 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 can, you can do it. I mean, it may be challenging because during that week it was, <laughs> it was brutal, but we were motivated. We wanted to. Ploho says the robotics project has helped him reach beyond what school taught him. It's going beyond the limits of what you learn in class because when, when you're in the class, it's just a bunch of snippets of stuff rather than a whole project. Friday and Saturday are qualifying rounds with the finals on Sunday. The competition is free and open to the public, but it's also being broadcast live online. Check out kpbs.org for more. Matt Bowler, KPBS News.